just to give you a little breakdown of that. Attach your vacuum hoses there and there and the idle screw adjustment which I'll show you on this spare soil body that I've got that's it there and there so it's sitting like that okay we've got a manometer I've used two-stroke oil firstly because it's what I had and I thought I wanted something a little bit thicker than say water and if something were to go horribly wrong and it would suck all the way up and over before you had time to turn it off it wouldn't be the end of the world to have a little bit of two-stroke engine going in so there you have it right there and there Tighten both screws right down and adjust them left and right until you get them as close together as possible. While the engine's warm, idling at 1,400 RPM as per the owner's manual. There we go, right, so next thing to do, put it all back together. It should take about five minutes. Okay, so don't forget to put these guys back on. Alright, so that's where your hose was attached before. Now you just slip on, you've got one on the right and one on the left. Hope you can see that. Put some light on there. There you go, one, two. I like to just have a little look around, make sure that everything's on properly while I'm in here. And don't forget that you'll need to attach that onto there when you put it all back together and also don't forget your fuel overflow connection. Go for a quick run, see how she feels and get some more fuel as well. Alright, you can see here those four bolts are back in. You get that cover back on. Remember to be really careful not to over tighten anything, especially these screws because they're just going into plastic. So those go back on, and then hand tight first, and then we're going to put, it's a sensor for the clean air system I believe, over there, that just slides in, it's under suction so that's going to slide back in, Look that up to there, that up to there. Uh, air temp sensor. Make sure that's clipped on properly. I need two hands to put these two together. 